Hey, what's going on, YouTube? This is Boss Yes I Am, bringing you episode 11 of Tuesdays with TJ. Alright guys, so to kick it off this week, I think I'm going to make a quick little episode about what I think Black Ops 2 should have. So, Treyarch already announced Black Ops 2 earlier this year, and I just wanted to give my opinions on what we should have in the game to make it the best game we could possibly have this is just my opinion and by no means do i think that everyone believes this and if you have your own opinion feel free to comment below and tell me what you think or just like if you don't agree with me that's totally fine but i'm just giving my opinion here all right so the first thing that i think black ops 2 should have is alternate game modes like in Modern Warfare 3, they have Drop Zone and Infected, and they're probably going to add more ideas later on as the year progresses. And I think this is really cool because it's really fun to play these different kinds of game modes and still have it count towards your in-game EXP for multiplayer. Like in Black Ops, there was um, like Gun Game and um, Sticks and Stones, and those were really fun, but they didn't really give you any EXP. Those were just wager matches to give you um, COD points. And that's fun too, getting COD points and stuff. But I really enjoy how in Marvel for 3, they made these game modes worth EXP too. And they're actually listening to the community about like these kind of game modes. And I really like it when um, producers listen to the community and take feedback. Like when they took out Drop Zone for, for a while, um, when the community wanted it back they gave it back and I think that's really cool of them so yeah I really enjoy playing drop zone and infected and I hope to see what other cost, um, alternate game mods that they added so yeah I think that's really fun another aspect I think is important is custom private matches that they had it that they implemented in Modern Warfare 3 like in Modern Warfare 3 they allowed you to pick um, a lot more customizable features than in previous custom uh, private matches like you already had all, everything unlocked, everything pro, everything. Like in um, Black Ops, they had everything already unlocked, but then the thing that they didn't have was the ability to play um, different game modes and like custom create game modes. And you can play gun game and, sticks, um, and stuff like that while in private matches. Like in Black Ops, I really wish that we could play gun game and sticks and stones in private matches but we weren't allowed to do that and in Modern for 3 they gave us the ability to create our own game modes and share it with other people and I think that's really fun and besides the obvious um, Black Ops 2 it should have wager matches on zombies because those are always successful and Treyarch has always been the proud sponsor of zombies so I, I'm pretty sure that will return so I'm not too worried about that but what I do want to implement is a lot of the things that are good about Modern Warfare 3. Like a lot of people don't like Modern Warfare 3 because there's a lot of things that just aren't really too good about the game. Because the game does indeed have a lot of flaws. But there are a lot of things that Black Ops 2 can still learn from. The first thing that I think is important that Black Ops 2 should implement is the point streak system. The fact that objective counts as a point towards your streak and I think that's really important because playing the objective was a major issue back in Modern for 2 and previous games when a lot of people just would not jump on the flag in domination or play the objective in any objective based game because they want to go for high kill games and I mean don't get me wrong if you're a player who likes to do that that's fine but you're just not helping out your team as much as you could possibly be helping them out. Like, what's the point if you go, like, 80 kills, 100 kills, and your team still loses? I mean, it doesn't look good, in my opinion. I mean, I saw a gameplay on YouTube the other day where the person went 122 and 4, and his team still lost, and I don't understand how that happens. I mean, if you just jump on a flag and then just start killing them, then you'll still hold on to the flag and you'll still get a high score, but that's just my opinion. Alright, another thing that I want to implement in Black Ops 2 is reliable secondary weapons. Like a Model for 2, when you had the machine pistols, the shotguns, it was really fun. Like when you ran out of ammo in your primary weapon, you could easily switch to your secondary and still do some work with it. And in Model for 3, um, some of the machine pistols are very reliable. I mean, although I don't really enjoy getting killed by Kimbo FMGs and stuff, I still find that the secondaries are actually useful in this game, unlike how in Black Ops they only had pistols. 
So yeah, I think reliable, uh, reliable, <laughs> excuse me, reliable secondary weapons is very important for a game. Third, I also want to implement the stalker perk. I really love this perk. This stalker perk is just amazing. When I go back to previous COD titles and I try to play, I try to strafe, but I realize that I don't have stalker, and it just feels completely awkward to me. So I really like this stalker perk. Um, I find it useful, and I put it on practically every one of my classes. And I just think it's a really good perk, so I really hope that they bring back this perk. And I don't know, I, there's something about it that just makes me feel like I'm doing a lot better than I actually am. And I like just strafing around and dodging my enemy's bullets. It makes it makes for a really uh, a much harder target to hit, and I really like the stalker perk. So yeah. And the last thing I want to say about bringing over from Mono for 3 is the strike packages. Like I like the idea how you can put different kill streaks or I mean point streaks onto each class setup. And I think that's really useful because back in Mono for 2, if you were going for a nuke, you basically had to go for a nuke cuz those are the only set 3 kill streaks you had and if you don't go for it, you you're pretty much cheated out of it. But then there are those games where you get really frustrated and you don't want to go for a nuke anymore, but you can't switch the kill streaks in game. But with strike packages, you're allowed to be able to switch a class and then your kill streaks stack, I mean, your kill streaks switch with the class and I think that's really really useful. And also the fact that you can cycle through your kill streaks is amazing. I really wish that they had that back in like previous COD titles because if you got a new kill streak on top, you have to use it first. Like what if you wanted to use a UAV before you used your like predator missile or something, but you already got your five kill streak and then you can't switch back, which I find really annoying. And I, I'm really glad that they implemented it in Modern for 3. So I think that's a great idea and they should bring it back for Black Ops. Okay, for... I, for strike packages, support, my idea is I don't really like it. I don't think that bad players should be rewarded like that. At the very least, I think they should remove stealth bombers and EMPs, and that probably remove a lot of the hatred for the, st um, for the spe um, support package. But personally, in my opinion, I think that people should just, you know, um, change it so it's only UAV, counter UAV, maybe ballistic vest. And some of the lesser non-lethal kill streaks. So yeah. And lastly, specialist specialist strike packages. I love this thing. It is fucking amazing. Whenever I get a new perk, I feel so satisfied. And when I get everything unlocked, I just feel like a superhuman. And I just go on a tear. And I think that's really fun. Because when you're in a lobby where they shoot down everything in the air... I think it's really great how you can just pull out specialists and just rely on your gun and every time you unlock a new perk you feel like a little bit like you have a little bit of an advantage over your opponents when you're shooting them. So yeah, I think that's really fun to do and I hope that they bring back specialists for Black Ops 2. Overall, I just want a faster paced gameplay from the original Black Ops. I never really gave Black Ops a chance because I thought it was too slow paced at first. I was trying I was shooting enemies like crazy and it just takes forever to kill a person and I never really gave it a chance. I mean I hopped back on it a while ago and it's okay. I like the map packs about it though and I like zombies. But what I really want in a game is to have it have a great multiplayer. So I really hope that Treyarch might consider these ideas i know they're probably not gonna listen to this or ever see this but i just hope that you guys can listen to my opinion and give me some feedback all right guys so this is today's episode of tuesdays with tj i'm probably gonna be releasing another part either today or next week about what black ops 2 should not have because i really cannot stand all this bullshit that there are and cod titles and i really hope that they fix it and try to just make the best game that they possibly can so yeah Peace, guys. I hope you guys liked this episode. If you enjoyed, please like. And if you're new around here, please subscribe. So, yes. Thank you, guys. Hope you guys uh, enjoy this episode on Tuesday. And just, you know, check back next week for another episode. Later, guys. Peace.